Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is talk about compressors and in particularly this giant compressor that you will find in home air conditioner units. Um, the two in the front you will find in your window air conditioner or your dehumidifiers. Um, so they're found in a lot of places. And just to give you um, a similarity and difference between the two or comparison, this one right here weighs 20 pounds as is. This one weighs 15 pounds as is. And this giant here weighs 45 pounds um, whole. Um, and what I want to do today is I'm actually going to focus on this, show you how to open it and get that copper out of there. It is well worth your time and energy. Um, for the sake of this video, I have sped up the process. I've cut it. And when we talk about comparing uh, if it's worth it or not, I did have to use two grinding discs um, to open it and to cut some of the copper. Uh, so that's about 50 cents worth of grinding discs for me. I buy them in bulk here in Canada, so 50 cents. Um, so obviously when I take my total, I'm going to have to deduct that. But the nice thing about compressors as is, I can bring them in and get compressor price for weight. Uh, they're about five cents a pound. It has gone up because of copper prices have gone up. But the copper inside, as I said, is well worth it because this is number two copper and currently going for $4.85 Canadian. So going to do that right now. Uh, as stated as well, I do have another video showing the smaller ones. Um, these ones, the first thing you do want to do is drain the oil. So I always put a drill hole in the top of one of this. I will turn it over. I will catch the oil. As you can see, I've put the oil from the larger one already trapped it in here. And I will use this oil again. Um, the nice thing about this big one, I actually, it's large enough. I will just put it into a large cake dish. Uh, and I will, instead of drilling at the top, I will make my incision, which I'm going to show you. And I just allow the oil to drain in here and then I will drain it into a cup later. Um, so you definitely want to drain these to be sure you're not making a mess. The other thing you want to check is there is always an arm on it. You can see the arm. You want to put a magnet to it. There is always a copper hose that goes to the rest of the uh, apparatus. However, this, if I check this, sometimes this arm is copper. If I put a magnet to it, copper is not magnetic. So because it sticks, this unfortunately is steel. Um, and as well, there is always on the side a black box. The black box could have uh, an additional small copper coil. It will also have a small silver contact or relay box that has silver in it. And I love those things. Okay. But um, when we look at the cylindrical ones, and I'm going to use this larger one for the example, the best piece of advice, and I've done a lot of these little ones. This is my first air conditioner unit here. Uh, and I do want to say a big thank you and shout out to George. Great friend of mine, great coworker. Uh, he's doing home renovations right now and he had to get rid of his AC unit. And instead of dropping it off at a scrapyard, he was nice enough to give it to me for this video. So thank you, George and family. Uh, but one thing about these cylindrical ones is in order to cut these, you want to cut towards the base. And what I did, as I said, put it in my cake dish. I took a grinder and I just started grinding. I would turn it over, keep going all the way around. And the nice thing about that is once I cut it, it was very loose. I just kind of gave it a couple taps with a hammer and the entire top came off, okay? The copper cord, as you can see, I've already started dismantling it. This was left inside on top of the spool. And look how beautiful that is. That is very heavy. This right here weighs 15 pounds, the copper motor. Uh, and as I said, I, because of its thickness, I've already started taking it apart just uh, to speed up the process. Um, the other thing about these tubes is look at how nice and thick that copper is. There's two giant copper pipes come off of there. Uh, if I look at this, put a magnet to it now, this is actually where the copper hits the steel. So I didn't bother taking that part off as well as this. Some people will grind off that steel, open it up and get that little piece of copper. But again, you have to factor in your cutting discs. So as is, I will bring this in now as steel price. Uh, the other thing I had to do was 
unfortunately, the copper motor was still actually stuck inside there. Um, but once I made a small incision across here, I was able to take a pry bar and just open that up a little bit just to allow the uh, screwdriver or pry bar to go underneath and pop it out. Um, so it did take a couple seconds to do that, but I strongly suggest an additional cut up and then an L shape upside down L just so you can pry that up and loosen out the motor. Okay, but this as is weighs about six pounds right here. Um, on top of the motor, you have this, so the motor will sink on top of this, the copper motor, and this actually has cast aluminum on both sides. I can bring this in as dirty cast. This actually weighs, just as is, uh, six, six pounds. So dirty cast is not worth much. It's about five cents a pound, but uh, I, uh, that is an option. Or you can just throw it into your steel pile with the rest of this frame. Uh, and get steel price. Steel right now is about $259 Canadian a ton, which is great. Uh, so that's two options for you. Some people will cut this cast off. In my opinion, it's not worth it because it's not worth much and it's not very heavy. Um, but it's entirely up to you. As well, there is inside that drum, you can see that top is a little bit of cast aluminum mixed with the steel. I don't bother taking that out. I leave that in and get steel weight. But it's, uh, you know, because again, I'm factoring in, I'm going to have to cut an additional cut and waste a couple grinding discs. So the rest of this is going to go into my steel pile. Now, as is, there is my copper bearing motor. These copper bearing motors, you have an option as well. The first option, if you don't want to tackle this and take it apart, it is worth copper bearing motor price, which is right now about 10 to 15 cents a pound Canadian. As I said, this is 15 pounds. This is very, very heavy. However, this copper is very thick, uh, a nice chunk, and number two copper, as I said, is $4.85. So it is well worth my time and effort to take it apart. And I am gonna weigh it for you, show you how heavy it is. Um, what I had to do at first is I took a grinder and I cut one side. Um, I had to cut all the way around, so it actually took a grinding disc to do that. Um, and as you can see, there is my circular top. And one thing, word of caution, I do want to say before you start cutting that, you do want to scratch the copper to see if it is copper. Some of the newer model compressors are now being replaced with aluminum, so it looks like copper, but if you scratch it, and I use a file, and it reveals metallic color underneath, it's aluminum, so it is not worth taking apart. I just throw them into my motor pile uh, and get uh, motor price, so I said 10 to 15 cents a pound. But I have already scratched this and it revealed copper, so I'm good to go. After I have cut the outside of it, I will take a punch or a screwdriver and I will actually just hit inside of here with a hammer. Okay, and I will leave the other side. You can see it's starting to come up. I will leave the string on there, okay? But all I'm gonna do, just to show you once, I wanna make sure I put safety glasses on. Uh, I take a giant screwdriver. I just put it against, you can see it right there. I still have a couple for the sake of this video. You just put it against that and punch it through. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, and this motor, as I said, I have never had an air conditioner this big. Uh, it barely fits into my vise. Um, I did have to stop this video to take this out because it was running too long. It is like 35 degrees in here. It is very warm. Um, so that is why I've already started. Uh, but as I said, I'm gonna take a punch. I'm just going to put it through the slip and you're gonna see it starting to come through. The coil is gonna come through just to loosen it up. So I'm feeding it through one side, make sure it's in my vise securely. Uh, and some people will use uh, an air drill. I've seen some people use a, a um, you know, a, an air chisel. Um, I don't have one of those. Uh, if you do, awesome. But again, I don't. So this is your old fashioned way, just using science, leverage, uh, eventually 
uh, as well as the pry bar, the pry tools. Okay, but you can see the copper is feeding through right now. Okay, and you want to make sure that all of your wires from this side are cut. I'm looking, sometimes if they are bent, it is hard to feed them through. Um, so they will get snagged. So you want to make sure that you have it straight, set up. All right. So what I mean by that, if I turn this over, you can see some loose pieces here. I got to make sure that they're all cut, but these could definitely pose a problem. But I've already punched all the way through. So now I'm just going to turn it over. I'm going to make sure it's safely in my vise. I'm just going to use science now, leverage. And like I said, it's it very, this vise is too small for this job, I think. But I'm going to try it. Make sure I start pulling it up. I wish I had I'll try it upwards if it stays, hopefully. Uh, but make sure it. Try and get it up through. There we go. So it's just coming up. And the nice thing is the oil on these wires will add as a lubricant, which is great. It definitely helps. But as I said, this is very, very thick, thick wire. Uh, very nicely compacted in there. So I am very excited to see the payoff with this, I'm just gonna turn that camera for you there. Uh, I've never, I've actually never weighed one of these. So as I said, gonna be interesting to see how much copper comes out of a giant AC unit. And I've done a lot of the smaller ones. They are a lot easier to handle. Um, look at that, nice. Look at that nice coil there. Add that to the pile. There's one. And once you start getting through it, it's easier. It loosens up the coils. You know, um, make sure that's on there. Make sure it's secure. Whew. Slowly, like I said, you don't have to tackle the whole thing right away, but taking a couple of strands out at a time definitely is going to help. I also like taking it with pliers and just turning it, pulling it up, using more science here, as I said, leverage, great tool, great helper. And there is going to be a little bit of spillage, so you just want to make sure you clean that up after to get every piece of copper. There we go, that's a nice big chunk right there. It's coming, it's coming. Okay, here we go. Another big one. It's gonna slip right out of my hands, I think. Okay, that's, and I also, as I said, make sure wear safety glasses. Copper can be is very pointy, and it could be, you know, a, an eye hazard. You know, want to make sure that you protect yourself. Your eyesight is definitely not worth a couple dollars worth of copper. Okay. I also like to wear gloves anytime I'm doing these things because the oil. Coming, coming, coming. Just gotta find the leader wire. Here it comes. Alright, put that under. Here's my jack. There it comes. Nice and stubborn. But so am I. So <laughs> I'm gonna win this fight. There we go, rock it out of there. Oh, look at this. I like to take the little pieces of paper out. Okay, but I've seen the light. So these little pieces of plastic, um, I don't throw them in. I Unfortunately, these are gonna be garbage. Um, if I don't have to pull them out, I won't. Last one here, last couple strands. I want to make sure that I get every single one of them. 
Okay, and there, there we go. All right, now, this, I'm gonna take my gloves off. This now is going to go into my steel, and I'm just gonna weigh it. I have my scale right here. I'm gonna weigh this as is. This is 13 pounds. So, I have a little scale, 13 more pounds of steel. I took this little scale from the kitchen, so I want to make sure I put a paper towel on it because I don't want to make my wife mad. And she is very patient already with my scrapping and all that, so I'm going to make sure I set my scale. I want to put it into pounds, kilos, pounds, where are you, pounds? There we go. So pounds it is. I'm going to use pounds. I'm going to say three pounds, but I could be wrong. So there is nine ounces already there. Already two pounds. 2.9. 2.9. 3.8. Just a second. Not done. I want to get all of this copper. And there is copper still here, a little bit on the floor. Going to get it all. A okay, little nice big strand. Look at those nice strands. Um, and the thing is, is someone might say, well, they look like they could be number one. If you can pull the oil off, it's very difficult to do. Uh, it depends on your quantity. It depends on your scrapyard. But most scrapyards, this is going to be hard to get the oil off. So this is gonna go as number two. Uh, some of my other subscribers made a good point that said, what about putting it into a crucible, melting it down? And that is definitely a great option. I, I am looking forward to actually purchasing a crucible in the near future, um, and I can actually do that. So that is definitely a great option as well um, that is doable uh, on my terms, but like I said, that's gonna be in a little ways. But the grand total is three pounds 13 ounces and as I said four dollars and 85 cents a pound This here there's 16 ounces in a pound. So it's almost four pounds. So four times 485 You're looking at over what is it over? $15 a little bit higher. So that's awesome um, You know or we can say close to 18 19 dollars. Sorry um, but with a little bit of work, as I said, I factory, I have to factor in two grinding discs, which is about 50 cents, but well worth my time and well worth taking it apart. And just to recap, if I was to bring this motor in 45 pounds times five cents, okay, I'm looking at, you know, a couple dollars, which is nice, but I've almost got $20 from this, or I could have brought in a 15 pound copper bearing motor which gives me, you know, uh, I said 15 pounds, or it's 15 pounds, almost $1.50. So well worth my time, well worth my effort. As I said, make sure when you handle any of these cylindrical ones, cut from the base, make sure you pull, get that oil so there's no mess, but highly, highly recommend taking it apart. Thanks for watching. Thanks again, George, for this great AC unit. I'm very happy that I was able to take out that copper, get some money for it, divert this from the landfill. Uh, so thank you again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.